Gjurgjan Kaskat, Sankatsats Hamematutsum, Meroktine. Deputy Minister Kostanian of Armenia, I wanted to, to ask you uh, to tell us uh, what is cost benefit analysis that is driving the recent geopolitical moves of Armenia closer to the West? How deeply do you want to connect with the European Union and potentially even with NATO? And what kind of reaction do you expect from Russia? What was happening here behind the scenes clearly illustrates the situation related to not only Armenia, not only to South Caucasus, but also to Western Balkans. We need to appreciate the time which is given to us because uh, there might come somebody into the room and kick us out. The Iron Curtain can, can come down and we don't have time to wait. And this is the strategic choice that the government of Armenia made. We know that we need we need to be in a club where we share the same values. Armenian people have European aspirations. Government of Armenia is doing reforms, and we are not doing it to please our European partners or anybody else, or to tease our partners. We are doing it because this is the mandate which was given by our citizens in 2018 during the revolution, and then in 2021 with the SNAP parliamentary elections that the people of Armenia stated again that the democracy is irreversible. And despite all the challenges that we are, we are facing, a hybrid threats, a huge hybrid threats that we are facing right now, we are walking the directions that our people lead us. And we need to work hard, but it's not only us who need to work, as our distinguished colleagues already mentioned. The Prime Minister of Armenia, a year before in the European Parliament, uh, announced that Armenia is ready to get closer to the European Union as much as the EU will find it appropriate. And I do believe uh, that Armenian society is waiting the answer. And maybe we will have chance to get this answer before the door is opened and people can in inside. Thank you very much.